Music. What club was that at? <laughs> that was admit that uh, a lot of people don't even realize they. I've called her, she hasn't responded. I've called her more than a few times. But the Zulu nation, I'm like, what the hell is this? I know nobody know what I'm talking about. You'll leave me on the island by myself. I don't know what the hell Bishop's talking about. That's what y'all do. Then after class, yeah, I know what you're talking about. I just don't want to be caught out there. The hell is this? Get on my damn nerves. So read that again, 30. Which one is Jesus? Oh, I want him to do it now. Can he do it? Can he touch which one is Jesus? Come on. Huh? He don't know that. Now, my question is, how did the baby pick the white man as Jesus? He picked this right here. So, what, what's your name, my sister? You the mother? Oh, that's your sister, right? So, you, which one is Jesus? Yeah, you pick which, which one is Jesus. Go ahead. You too, mom. Which one is Jesus? Oh, look close now. Look close now. Bring it up. Oh, ho, ho. you like the one with the toga rope, the Roman joint. Okay, now, guess what we're going to show you? Jesus Christ is a black man. Look just like this man right here. Look just like him right here. The black man is Christ. You understand that? We don't know these things because where we go? We go to church and we learn white supremacy. And white supremacy is being passed down right to that baby right there. Right. You understand? Now, guess what we gonna do? Now, here's what y'all should ask me. What's your name, sis? Redhead. What's your name? Jai. Jai what? Jai. Jai. Here's what you should do. I made a statement, all of y'all. Hey, Destiny, Destiny, and Lajene, Tori, you should ask me to prove it. That's, That's what you should ask me. I made a statement. Hold on, hold on, so you trying to run. You trying to run, sis, don't run. You should ask me, sis, sis, sis. Ask me to prove it. Can I prove it? I said Christ is black. Can I prove it? What you think? What do you think? Can I prove it? Do you want me to prove it? Oh, uh, well, let's go. Here we go. Revelation chapter 1, verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So now let's examine that now. This is John the Revelator talking, talking uh, um, describing Christ. He said his head, the head, the hair on his head. Red, uh, what's the name again? Pay attention, so don't don't get distracted. Don't get distracted. All right. Now look, it says the hair on his head, meaning the top of his head, and the hair on his face was white and woolly. What people on the planet Earth have white hair and woolly? Bring it up. Who got woolly hair on the planet Earth? Touch the top of your head, sis. Is that woolly hair? That's woolly hair, right? Yes. That's woolly hair, meaning afro hair or kinky hair, right, sister? So that don't fit the so-called white man. He got stringy blonde hair, sis. Somebody's been lying to y'all. Now you know the psychology of why we're out here. Because somebody's been lying to y'all for 400 years. Now, does that hair fit white Jesus? Yes. So guess, huh? What's up again? Hey, real quick, because a lot of people pointed out this Jesus right here, right? Excuse me, sis, sister right here. Everybody sees They've been pointing out this as an image or the likeness of the Messiah, according to the Bible, Jesus the Christ. But here's what comes along with that. 2 Corinthians 11, verse 4. Because don't think you're just going to believe in this white image and it's just, oh, that's just a guy in a picture or in up in my churches or in every publication there is. They depict Jesus as a white man. Do you think that's just going to uh, be okay with your psyche? Because Roderick's point was... The psychology of the Israelites. Right. So there's something that this picture does to your psyche. Right. Read that. Second Corinthians chapter 11 verse 4. For if he that come and preacheth another Jesus. Now I want you to see. Uh, Cap just brought out. Jesus Christ according to the Bible is a black man. Right. So what we have is someone preached unto us another Jesus. Let's see what God said. Whom we have not preached, which is not according to the Bible. I got a question for you. Corey, have you ever had anyone prove to you out of the Bible that Jesus is a white man? Bring it up. Sis with the red hair. Have you ever had anybody show you out of the Bible that Jesus is a white man and took you to a Bible verse? Ever. No. Sis with the 
this right here? How about you right here? Anybody ever show you out of the Bible that he's a Caucasian man? So why is it most of us think one of these is Jesus? It doesn't make sense. But let's keep reading. Or if ye receive another spirit, which ye have not received, or another gospel. Wait, 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 wait. Not only do we believe in another Jesus, but that that false Jesus gives us another spirit. Right. Go ahead. Or another gospel, which ye have not accepted, ye might bear well with him. So now, there's another gospel that comes along with it. So it's not just, oh, Jesus Christ is a white man. Right. But what we have is, we have our people that end up hating themselves. Right. So they want to look like other nationalities, right. other nations. So what are, what are we doing? We're getting another spirit when we worship another Christ. Right. Just like Roderick said. Roderick said, hey, What's the psychology of the Israelites? Well, what is the psychology of worshiping a white man? Right. We got to ask ourselves that. What is the psychology of worshiping a man that looks nothing like you? Bring it up. Read it again. For if ye, for if he that come and preacheth of another Jesus, whom we have not preached, or if ye receive another spirit, or if we receive another spirit. Hey, brother right here talking to Leo. What other spirit do we receive? Bring it up. Brother with the green shirt on. Brother with the green shirt on. Come on, bro. Come over here, man. Yeah, I put you on the spot. That's all we out here for. We here to put our people on the spot. Go ahead, brother. What's, what's your gripe? I see you talking to our brother over there. I forgot, I forgot the question. There was a song relating to what you had said. Okay, okay. About Jesus. So, okay, I say, with the, the Jesus, I was wondering, I said, well, Jesus had this Jesus. He, he, okay, you said Jesus had to moment, exist. I, I prayed to Jesus one time. Okay. And the spirit was real because of whatever I prayed for, I received it. Oh, okay. So he said he felt that he said Jesus is real because he prayed to Jesus and everything that he prayed for, he Not received it. Okay, so some of the things like you that, prayed for. In particular what I prayed for. Okay. That in particular I prayed for, I said, man, look, man, oh, uh, yada, yada, yada. I okay. Like stop, yada, yada, yada. And it, and, it, and, it, and it happened. Okay. You know All right. So because you were given something, you said, okay, Jesus is real. Okay. Give me Matthew chapter 4. Bring it up. I want you to. Oh, you, you pray for strength. Okay, question. Hold on. Strength to do what? Strength to. How you doing, brother? I forgot what it was. I don't want to slow that way. Okay. However, though, it was. I prayed. I asked Jesus, man, for for something. Okay. Two, three times. Okay. And. You know what I'm saying? The spirit was like I felt. You know All what I'm right. saying? Like I really, you know, I really you felt. You felt uplifted. I believe, I believe that it, it can happen. I, I was okay for one. I believe that it, it can happen. I, I was okay for one. Okay. I prayed ahead. one day. I, I laid down. And, uh, you know, my mom told me she, you know, she. she so I, I want. I'm gonna repeat it so everybody can mother, hear. Yeah. He said he prayed one time, and his mother said. Yeah. She. Uh. She said, man. She was telling me about uh, about sicknesses and stuff. Like about that. sicknesses. Okay. So. Uh, you know. You know, old people. Some people. Okay. But some, hold on, listen now. Yeah, she say, uh, you know, she, I remember I was a kid, she said, well, you don't want to get sick like this one time. Okay. I don't know if she was lying away. All right, so real quick. But I felt that sickness. Okay, real quick, because I want everybody but to I hear. I for it. So what the brother said, I want y'all to listen close. The brother said, he believes that there's a Jesus, right? Because there's things that he prayed, prayed, prayed for, and it was granted. granted unto him. Correct? Some of the things, right? So going back to 2 Corinthians 11, real quick. I want you to hear this too, brother, right here. Because a lot of times our people pray, right? And we think because you're granted certain things you pray for, that it's coming from the right place. Right. I want to stress that. I want to stress that. So stay tuned. Let's 2 Corinthians 11 again. 2 Corinthians chapter... And then I want John 9, 31. Chapter 11, verse 4. Bring it up. If he that come and preacheth another Jesus... So, question. I'm going to ask you, what does Jesus Christ look like? Uh-huh. Because when you started praying, you have to have something in your mind as you pray. I think it's a spirit. Okay. So wait, 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 wait. Stop, 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 stop. stop. So he said, he said, he prayed, but he thinks it's the spirit. But, but you said Jesus existed earlier. So if he existed. I pray to the will of God. You pray to the will of God. Okay, we got to stay on course here. All right, so now. Okay, good, good, good. Listen up, good. Listen good. For if he... That come and preach it to another Jesus. Question right here. What does Jesus look like? Right here. Uh, so he look like us, bro. 
Okay, good. Sis, what do you say? Sis, don't want to answer? <laughs> you don't know what Jesus looked like? Stick around. You're going to learn. Go ahead. Whom we have not preached. So there's, a, there's another Jesus in the earth whom we, the prophets of old, the apostles, never preached about. Right. Guess what? It's this Caucasian man right here. Because right. guess what? You won't find this description anywhere in the Bible. So what I mentioned to you about you praying, there has to be some kind of indication of what you're praying to. Right? right? Go ahead. Or if ye receive another spirit. So what happens when you pray into another Jesus? Or if you receive another spirit. So there's another spirit involved in something that you deem to be holy to be pure, you're talking to God. There's something else in there. Real quick, Matthew chapter 4 now. Let's see what God says. Matthew chapter 4, verse 8. Again, the devil taketh him up in, into an exceeding high mountain and showeth him all the kingdoms of the world and the glory of them and said unto him. And, and so the devil is saying unto Jesus now, right? Look what he said. All these things will I give thee. Wait a minute. The devil said, you, you get it, right? Yeah. So the devil said, he has the power to give you things in this world as well. Right. So we pray for certain things and we automatically think because we get them, it's of the Lord. Bring it but you could be getting granted by Satan because That's you're right. doing Satan's work. That's right. We understand that, right? So I'm going to give an example. Let's say you pitch crack to your people. And you ask, you ask God, God, let me get this pack so I can flip it and make double. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you get it. You like God, you good. You think God giving you money to split crack yeah, to your people? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you see, you see the point. You see the point, brother. God is not blessing you to destroy His people. Yeah. Is my point. John nine thirty one. John chapter nine verse thirty one. Yeah, yeah. Now we know that God heareth not sinners. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, if you are in the midst of sin, the Bible says God does not hear sinners. So we pray, we pray, we pray, and we get what we're praying for. If God ain't hearing you, who's giving it to you? I want you to answer right here in the white shirt, brother. You got it. Who's giving it to you? Who's giving it to you? Oh, my mellow, my man. Give his brother a round of applause. That's it. Read that again. Come on. Now we know that God heareth not sinners, but if any man be a worshiper of God. So now here's the stipulation. If you are a worshiper of God, go ahead. No. And doeth his will. Not only do you have to be a worshiper of God, but you have to do God's will. Okay. I got your question in one second. Finish that. Him he heareth. Who, who does God hear? Him he heareth. So you must be a worshiper of God and doing God's will. That's whose prayers he's going to hear. So the question should be is, what is God's will? I'm sorry. Come on. You said that almost that country. I missed that very Okay. Let's let's go to it again. It's John. Right. It don't make any sense though. Okay. If you if you're a sinner, you see what I'm saying? If you you born okay. you born to sin. So now I got, I, got, I, got a, I got a question for you. I, give me that in Psalms 37. No, 30 broken contrite spirit. 51. Psalm 51. Thank you. We're going to get it from you. Oh, no. You just, I just, it just, it just it's can't? It's okay. Because what it is, let's say you're in the midst of sin. Yeah. Right? Yeah. You, you Say it again, brother. You repent. Bring it out. It's just that simple. So you have, to, you, have to, you have to recognize your sin, acknowledge your sin, and then ask the Lord for forgiveness for the sin you've committed. So here's my question. I got one more question for you. What is sin? Because the rep repenting is turning away from your sins. Correct? Acknowledging and turning away from your sins. So what are sins? When you do wrong. When you do wrong. So, so, if, I, so if, I cross, if I cross in the middle of the street instead of the crosswalk, that's wrong. Bring it up. Is, is that? That's the law of the land. So that's Say that again. Okay, land. okay, you're right. Hey, you got me. You're right. It's the law of the land. You're right, brother. Okay, my question is this. Uh, we know God is real. Yes. He loves us. Yes. My question is why is so many kids dying? Oh, dead? this brother asked Come a million on. dollar question. Come he on. said he know God is real. He know God's love. God loves us, but why are so many kids dying? That's 
asked the million dollar question. All right. So real quick, don't let me forget that. Don't let me forget his question. Why are so many kids dying? We're going to get Leviticus 26 in a second. But my point is, I want to finish up with the brother right here in the green shirt. That's where we started, right? So we're talking about what is sin. So let's get the definition for you. First John. Let's go to First John and get what the sin is. And then here's, we can start dissecting how we can fix it so that we can repent like the brother said. Make That's sense? Right. Go ahead. First John chapter 3 verse 4. Bring it up. Whoever committed sin transgresseth also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. So sin is the breaking of God's laws. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to show you a couple of God's laws, and then we can determine if we're in sin or not. Make sense? Because we have to find God's laws to see, okay, I broke this law, I broke that law, just like he mentioned the laws of the land. How do we know, what is it called, jaywalking? How do we know jaywalking is illegal? Because there's a law in this land that says you can't cross when the light is a certain color. Make sense? Okay, so we're going to go to the laws of God. Leviticus chapter 13, verse 30. And then I want Leviticus 21 and verse 5. Real quick, read. Leviticus chapter 13, verse 30. Then the priest shall see the plague. So the priest shall see the plague. And behold, if it be in sight deeper than the skin, and there be in it a yellow thin hair. If there be yellow hair, yellow thin hair. Go ahead. Then the priest shall pronounce him unclean. So when Israelites have yellow hair, why are you laughing, bro? <laughs> when Israelites have yellow hair, right? God says he pronounces you what? Then the priest shall pronounce him unclean. Unclean. Question. Who out here has yellow hair? The punk rock, the one that got it You said punk rock, the one that... Okay, okay. <laughs> I'm like, you're going to say the punk rock brother is right here. But the point is this. Most, did you know that before you heard it today? Um, not really. Nah, yeah. I, I, before, before, before I heard it, I didn't know it either. And I would see our brothers blonde in here was an Odell Beckham. Back in the day, it was a Cisco. Cisco from, from Drew Hill. I'm sure my age. But he had blonde hair. It was a bunch of people that had blonde hair. And we deemed it as normal. Mary J. Blige, Faith, and all these people that's in our community that we think are of status. God says that's unclean. But it gets, it gets deeper than that. Back to Leviticus 21. I got you one second. Leviticus chapter 21, verse 5. They shall not make boldness upon their head. Now, I want you to hear this. God says they shall not make boldness upon their heads. They shall not make boldness upon their heads. Keep reading. Neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard. So now, I'm going to share something with you. You even see that design that you have in your head? That's an Egyptian custom. Most of the Egyptians would have that design in their hair because they wanted to show their customs of their land. Shaving their head bald and having certain designs or wearing wigs made out of straw was their custom. Right. right. Because when you read the history, the Egyptians hated hair. So they would shave off all their facial hair, shave off all their, their hair on their head, shave their bodies, and then they would make the Israelites who were in captivity in Egypt do the same thing. Perfect example. Go to Leviticus chapter 18, start at verse 1 again. Leviticus chapter 18, verse 1. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, and say unto them, I am the Lord your God. After the doings of the land of Egypt. After the doings of the lands of Egypt. This is in the Exodus. We just came out of Egypt. Right. Right. So he's telling us things that we were doing in Egypt. Right. So God says, after the doings of the land of Egypt, what should we do? Wherein ye dwelt, 
ye shall ye not do. And after the doings of the land of Canaan, what do I bring you, shall ye not do. So God says, that shaving off all our hair, shaving off, boiling off our head, like what's that, Shaquille O'Neal, Tyrese, Michael Jordan. God says, don't do that. Among the children of Israel, we are royal people. We're God's chosen people. We're greater than everybody on the planet. But when we try to blonde our hair like them, we try to shave off our beard like the nations. God says, don't do that. Give me Deuteronomy 7 verse 6, and I'm going to pass to the next brother. Deuteronomy 7 verse 6. Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 6. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. God says, you're a holy people, so holy, you shouldn't be defiling yourself with that e-cigarette. Right. You are so holy, so important to God, you shouldn't be breaking his commandments. Right. But keep reading. The Lord thy God have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Above all people. No, equal to. Above all people. So that goes right back to where we first started. This other Jesus here makes us think we can defile our temples. Right. This other Jesus, which is not Jesus at all, See, I like that. The brother said it confident. He's like, no, no, that's not Jesus. I like that. I like that. We got to we gotta speak the truth boldly. When we're asked, we got to say, you know what? We got to have definitive answers. Let your yay be yay and your nay be nay. That's what shows me, okay, this brother right here is a man. Because of the way they move, the way they speak, I could tell certain things in the spirit. But read that again from the top. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. God says our people are above everybody on the face of the earth. But yet we debase ourselves by doing exactly what they do. You actually, listen, in order to dye your hair, you have dropped down 20 levels That's to be right. on their level. Right. God says you're way above them. Right. God says you're way above them. But guess what? When we do what they do, we drop ourselves down to their level. You ever heard the term stooping to someone's level? Guess what? We're stooping to their level. Right. God says, nah, you above everybody else on the face of the planet. So that e-cigarette, throw that stuff away, man. You defiling your temple. Give me that last scripture. First Corinthians 3. First Corinthians Chapter 3, verse 16. Bring it out. No question. So what made you do that hairstyle? What made me do that? Yeah. I mean, because I was feeling that way. I was hey. that Because you know what? When I walk into a so-called black barbershop. this generation. I mean, I'm sorry. No, no, no. You're fine. Go ahead. I'm sorry. No, because when you walk into a barbershop, right? Most black barbershops have a picture of... <laughs> Have a picture of all the black hairstyles, right? They got, they got, they got this hairstyle, that hairstyle. They got, they got everything. I have never in my life seen that hairstyle. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Right. Come on. See, my point is, though, Come on. Like, talk to me. You know, I'm a believer, man. I'm a believer of something greater than that. Okay, good. Me, personally, I think, the, uh, like, the sun, you know what I'm saying, the, the elements, like, that consists of God to me. That's, that's the most strong thing in the world. Okay. All right, Romans 1. Romans 1, I think it's verse 20. Romans 1 verse 20. I'm going to hip you to that because you're not, you're not wrong. Okay, good. You're not wrong, but I want to see what spirit you're moving in. Let's read that. Romans chapter 1. Verse 20, for the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen. So the Bible says, the invisible things from the creation that are made by him are clearly seen. What are the things we clearly see? We see the sun. We see the moon. We see the trees, right? That's how we know for certainty there is a God. Because no Big Bang Theory no uh, Darwinism can explain how the birds, the trees, the sun, the moon actually got here. Because they say it come from one organism, right? So you tell me one organism split into trees and animals and humans? Come on, that won't make sense. That's why it's called a theory, because it's not proven. Bring it up. I want you to understand that. But read it again. For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen. It's clearly seen. Go ahead. 
being understood by the things that are made. So we are the things that are made, and we understand there is a God because of all the things that he made before we got here. Make sense? So you're not wrong, but I'm still on the point where we're still breaking God's commandments. You understand? So let your hair grow. Cut out that blonde. God said it's unclean. You heard that part, right? Like you said about it, go back to the theory. The white man's theory. Right, man. I mean, to say that we're not the shape. I'm saying, you know, all this is in the Bible. Uh huh. What you got? The good. You got the bad. You got. You know, he gonna put. He gonna put it in there. You see what I'm saying? But that was. That was. Um. Let's see. Um. I won't say this. You got. Um. Like. Like the beginning and the end. Okay. That to me, when when I studied the Bible. You said you That's studied the Bible? Bible? But then you got the middle part, like the history, those that did some things that we're doing now, but just in the, them times. You mean, okay, because we were breaking the commandments then, That's and I'm right. showing you you're breaking the commandments now. That's uh, right. So you have to stop. Hey, brother, you said you was you, you had something to say. No, no, no. Uh, you had a question? I'm that, like, well, like, uh, like, what are you doing? Like, you know what I mean? Like, African people, most African people are something like, you're already known, like, Jesus. Like, the normal black person probably don't know Jesus. Okay. So probably be Jesus. Like, okay. Okay. Uh -huh. From where? Okay. Okay. My brother from Liberia. Oh no. Well, I'm, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I gotta get in position. I gotta get in my stance. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead, brother. Uh -huh. Okay. Now I want you to know. I want you to say this. You know, in Liberia, there's two groups of people. Yeah. What are they? Okay, very good. So he says there's two types of people. Those who were originally from Liberia and those who came back after slavery, right? Okay. But I want to show you something. Even those people that were in Liberia, there's two. There is the, not Shemites, the Nilotics, right? And the Shemitic people. Right? But there are some Shemitic people that were still left there behind. We're going to prove that out of the Bible. Deuteronomy chapter 20. Oh, I got a new reader. Okay. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 32, 32. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Now, what this is going into is the history of the slave trade. That's in the Bible. Out of God's word, he's telling us that the curses that will fall upon the children of Israel that were scattered into the four corners of the earth in Africa, in Asia, in South America, North America, we have been scattered through slavery, right? That's right. But here's the point. He says, our sons and daughters shall be given to another people. Read. And thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them. So when those slave ships left the west coast of Africa, right? Parents were on the shore watching their sons and daughters slave, sail away. Right. Read it from the top again. So I'm trying to paint the picture in your mind. Read it again. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. So parents watch their sons and daughters given to another people. We have that correct. You write that right, on. You got it? Read. And thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. So you're going to miss them because you're watching them go into captivity, right? Go ahead. And there shall be no might in thine hand. So those parents left behind watching their children sail away. Did they have any power to bring that ship back? No power. Go ahead. The fruit of thy land and all thy labor. Now, remember, it's talking to the parents, right? You're going to see your sons and daughters sail away. Correct? Now it says the fruit of your land. Give me some natural resources in Africa that are exported that the people don't benefit from. Gold, we all can agree. Gold, rubber, rubber, we all can agree, right? Diamonds, diamonds, bauxite, aluminum, cocoa, you name, lithium, you name it. Everything precious to the world is found in Africa. Oil, everything, right? So here's what God says. Remember, the, the children sailed away. Parents are still left where? In the, the west coast of that or Africa, period, the interiors of it, right? Because here's the thing: what people don't realize, majority of the Bible took place in Africa. That's right. <laughs> it didn't take place in Europe. It didn't have. That's why it baffles us why people think Jesus is white. Because when Jesus walked the earth, he wasn't walking it in Romania, in Kazakhstan, in 
in Ukraine. He wasn't in those regions. So how in the hell did you get this white devil? How did that happen? Huh? Read. The fruit of thy land and all thy labors. So it says the fruit of your land, every resource from the land and your labors shall a nation which thou knowest not eat up. Was Africa colonized? Yeah, most of Africa. Most of Africa. Oh, where? Most of Africa. Most of Africa, the only place that wasn't colonized was the desert, remote places that they did not want. But Belgium, Portugal, Spain, they all divided up anything good, any goodly area in Africa was divided among them. So here's what happened. A nation that we did not know put our sons and daughters on slave ships, and the parents that stayed behind were colonized, showing us what? Our people were there prior to the late 1800s or mid 1800s.